Welcome to another tutorial video from Tolomats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we're looking at the guide number method to factorizing quadratic equations. Now, there are other ways of factorizing quadratic equations, such as using your quadratic formula, your minus b plus or minus, or using two brackets and then using your trial and error method. The guide number method is commonly used when the coefficient of the x squared is greater than one. Now the coefficient of the x squared, put simply, is the number in front of the x squared. In order to complete the guide number, what you do is you multiply that coefficient of the x squared by the constant, the number on its own. So in this case, the plus six. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna do a little bit of rough work here, out to the side of my page, and I'm going to multiply the five by the six. So I'm using brackets here to denote multiplication, and I get 30. Next thing I'm going to do is find the factors of 30. Now, in particular, I'm looking for the factors of 30 that add to minus 17, the number that's in front of the x. But for this example, I'm going to list out all of my factors. Maybe you can spot it in your head off straight away. But let's list them out. So what numbers multiply to 30? I can use 1 by 30, because that gives me 30. I can use minus 1 by minus 30, that gives me positive 30. Minus by minus gives me a plus. I have minus 2 by minus 15 gives me positive 30. Or I have positive 2 by positive 15, which is 30. I have 3 multiplied by 10, which is 30. I have negative 3 multiplied by negative 10, which is 30. And I also have my 5 by 6 and my negative 5 by negative 6, which is 30. Like signs always give me a positive. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my factors. So I'm just doing little arrows here and I'm going to add them together and see what they give me. So when I add my 1 and my 30, I get 31. When I add minus 1 and minus 30, I get minus 31. Minus 2 and minus 15, minus 17. You can see that that is now going to be my answer, but let's keep going just to be sure. 2 multiplied by 15 is 17. 3 multiplied by 10 is 30. 3 plus 10 is 13. Minus 3 take away 10 is minus 13. 5 plus 6 is 11. Minus 5 plus minus 6 is minus 11. So you can see that the only two terms that multiply to 30 and add to nev negative 17 are minus 2 and minus 15. So now I'm going to use those terms to rewrite my quadratic equation over here in the question. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite minus 17x as minus 2x and minus 15x. So let me show you what that means. So I'm rewriting my quadratic equation and it's going to be 5x squared and I'm now putting in my factors which are minus 2x, minus 15x and then plus my 6. Let's just put that back into the colour. You'll notice now that minus 2 minus 15x gives me minus 17x. So I haven't done anything differently there. I've just rewritten minus 17 as minus 2 and minus 15. That's all I've done. Next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to factorize this uh, expression. And I'm going to factorize by group because there's nothing common to all four terms. But as I look at it, if I was to factorize the first two terms, I don't have anything in common, bar an x, but I don't have a number in common. So what I'm going to do is basically rearrange my minus 2x and my minus 15x. Now, you'll only spot this by trying the question. So these things happen in maths. So I'm going to rewrite it as 5x squared, and I'm going to put the minus 15x in front of the 2x. I'm basically just reversing them. It's still the same thing. Minus 15 take away 2 is minus 17, and then plus my 6. And you will see now when I factorize by group, I'll have a 5 common to my first two terms, and I'll have a 2 common to my second two terms. Okay, so let's factorize now. So what's common to the first two? Well, the terms are going 5x squared and minus 15x. So my number that's common is 5. 
and I also have a letter common which is x. So I'm going to factorize out 5x and 5x by 1x gives me 5x squared and 5x by negative 3 gives me minus 15x. And now coming to the minus 2x and the plus 6. My advice here is to factorize out the number first and then worry about the sign. So you can hopefully spot there that there's a 2 common to 2x and 6. So I'm going to factorize out my 2. My bracket then is 2 by 1 and 2 by 3. Now I'm going to worry about the signs. Look what happens here now. I'm just going to put it in gray. If I put a minus here and I multiply minus 2 by 1x, I do get minus 2x. But then if I jump to the middle here, if I was to put a negative 3 here, you can hopefully see that minus 2 by minus 3 is giving me a positive 6. And that is what I wanted. So just be careful when you're filling in the signs. As I said, put the numbers down first and then worry about the signs. Another thing to also look out for is that the factors that you're putting in your brackets here should always be the same. So look at here, I have 1x minus 3, 1x minus 3. If you have different numbers or different signs in the brackets, then you've made a mistake and you just need to re review. Our final step now is that we're going to put back our 5x and our minus 2 together. So we're going to put them back as their factor. So I'm putting the minus 2 and the 5x together. And that is going to be multiplied by re my remaining factor, which is 1x minus 3. Sometimes there can be a little bit of confusion there. Sometimes think of now that you're going in reverse. Imagine I asked you to multiply out that uh, two sets of brackets. You would go first term by second bracket, second term by second bracket. So you're basically going in reverse here. And that's your answer. You've now factorized the quadratic equation using the guide number method. If you want to check your answer, you should go and multiply out or expand your brackets. But that's the guide number method. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.